title of my film is Brothers of the Night. I'm Patrick Sheeha, the director, and the film is about a group of young Bulgarian Romas in Vienna who sell their bodies to get money. When I watched your film yesterday, I was the first thing I was really struck by is uh, really the aesthetics and the lighting and the pace, the editing, and I was I was really like kind of like wondering, am I where am I in a documentary fiction? What world am I like introduced to? And I kind of like for the first question, would like to know what what world were you envisioning, or were you envisioning like a universe or like a parallel reality when you started? sort of like realizing this project? It's not so much a question about uh, choice or a decision. I think it's a parallel world. Mm -hmm. It's a night world. Mm -hmm. These boys I film, they only live by night. Mm -hmm. They work in bars which look really strange, you know, this Austrian golden thing, but at the same time they're kind of pornographic things. This something between the empire and uh, sexuality mm -hmm. with this red mm -hmm. light and so And so when I, when I when I discovered these boys, really the places where I met them looked like this. And these boys, they immediately reminded me also uh, young boys from films like Fassbinder or Pasolini or Kenneth Anger. And so all, they were like film figures. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and so it's, it's strange to say, even if the film looks very fake and uh, constructed, it, the way to come to it was quite natural. Um, and then there was another reason, there, there are a lot of reasons, but I wanted to do a film with them and not about them or I don't have to say something about what they do. There's nothing to, s I don't know, I have nothing to say about prostitution. What do I want, what do you want me to say? Yeah. But I wanted to do something with them. I was fascinated by them. Mm -hmm. And I thought if I am fascinated, other people can be fascinated. Mm -hmm. And so these are young boys who are 18, 19. And it took a long time that they see that I respect them and that we know each other. And when they understood that I really want to make a film with them and I told them I want to make a beautiful film about you because I think you're heroes, you're stars mm -hmm. and you remind me beautiful cinema, then of course they said, okay, then let's play cinema. Mm -hmm. And what is cinema? It's lighting. Mm -hmm. and it is uh, very much. That's what I was so reminded, like lighting is the key to everything. It creates exactly. the entire and, mood. And, and I think the lighting is also the emotion. And, and last but not least, it's not because it's grey and the camera is shaking that it's more real. Mm -hmm. Cinema is fake. It's mm -hmm. a fake moment. Mm -hmm. If you film me here, mm -hmm. it's not the same like if we are together in the cafe without a camera. So yes. it's a fake moment. It's a stage moment. And yeah. so, mm -hmm. so today we see so much films where we, it's also in Austria, it's grey and the camera is shaking and everything looks horrible. But reality is more complex than this. Mm -hmm. Light is also the reality. And, mm -hmm. and so I saw this fictional, uh, artificial uh, way to make the film was my way with them to come to reality, mm -hmm. to emotions, and emotions are reality. And, mm -hmm. and then, sorry, it's, it's, there's so many reasons why it looks like it looks, but also it's... Um, um, it's a way to preserve them. I didn't ask them, hey, be nude and tell me who you are. Mm -hmm. I'm not the police. They, I, I told them, hey, you can lie, you can play. Mm -hmm. They play and lie all their life. Everything is fake. Mm -hmm. Sexuality, money, nightlife. Mm -hmm. Reality is fake there. So I told them, hey, I'm not here to follow you and to get who you are really. Mm -hmm. Let's play with life. And mm -hmm. I knew, or I hoped, that this was the way to come to emotions, mm -hmm. to have a feeling for them and to love them. How did you communicate with them while you were shooting? Was there like a lot of interaction between you and them during the of shooting course. process? Of okay. course. Uh, I must say, okay, they speak mostly Bulgarian mm -hmm. or how do you say in English, Romanes, the yeah, Gypsy yeah. language. Uh, language. Um, I had a translator, a young guy who uh, they loved really, it, it was easy. The sound guy was uh, Bulgarian mm -hmm. and they speak German very badly and I didn't want to make um, in interviews with them in German because their German was too, uh, too bad and so they couldn't say what they want to say. Yeah. They couldn't play as yeah. with them, say, oh, they couldn't lie. It's, yeah, it's, yeah. You yeah. have to know, know a language to lie. And um, 
but of course we talked in German and it and with them every they talk a lot and I love films where people talk a lot but it goes through the body it's a body thing you know we are uh, for example, first m when we went out together to discourse, it's always funny to say, ah, Patrick, Patrick, you're here. And I want to t talk a little bit. Uh, how are you? How are your children? Or with your wife? And they say, hey, stop talking. Let's dance. And so you dance one hour and it was a way to be together. Okay. And I tried to show this in this film that, of course, they talk all this time. They say prices and talk about clients. and uh, but. But in fact, what moves me is the light and the movements mm -hmm. of the body. Mm -hmm. And um, how did you build the relationship with them? How did you find these characters? Was it a long process or did you get to know them in bars and what location? No, I, I did research for another film uh, which I didn't make. Mm -hmm. And uh, by accident, I went into a, somebody told me, ah, you should go into this bar and I didn't know this bar. It's in the center of Vienna. It's quite easy to find. No, it was another one okay. which closed five days before shooting. So well, okay. this happens. Okay. And this was really the strange bar and I didn't really understand immediately what it was. But uh, after 10 minutes I understood, OK, there are young boys on the bars and all this old man. And and it was so str such a strange, beautiful and, and, and complicated world. But it was like theater. Mm -hmm. They played the world, they played something. And I knew I want, I want to know them, I want to spend time with them, I want to make something with them. And then, yeah, then I had a very good assistant, a girl, and uh, we spent like uh, two months. Every night we went out there. And, uh, okay, I'm not so old, but it was tough. And, uh, and, uh, and <laughs> of course, they, 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 didn't, they didn't understand uh, what we're doing here, you know? Yeah. These are guys, they never went to school, they don't watch movies. Yeah. And, and so, of course, it took time that they, they understood what I want, because they never have a feeling, for example, for time. You cannot say, okay, in one month, I would like to make something with you. They say, now, it's, it's sex now. So, how can you, so, so we had to find this, way that they, that they feel that we will do something else with them and mm -hmm. the day they understood okay there's mm -hmm. an Austrian guy mm -hmm. who wants something else from me mm -hmm. than uh, sex or business or something else mm -hmm. then they were surprised mm -hmm. and so now I still see them a lot because mm -hmm. you cannot say okay now that we build a relationship the project and is over really and like that yeah, yeah. okay now I don't want anything about you from you mm -hmm. but uh, so it was a lot of lot of nightlife, mm -hmm. dancing, drinking, blah blah. Excessive life. Excessive. But you were just mentioning time, and I also think that in the the, the pace of the film and and the editing really gives you a, a, a weird sense of time. It just uh, do you, do you, can you can you talk a little bit about, about yeah, the, of course. like what time meant to you or means mm. to you in the film? There, there were two things very easy which I noticed with that. I, I thought, why I'm so fascinated by them, or what is it? And there's a thing, you know, if, if ta a film is space and time. Huh? You work with space and time. And these guys, they don't have any space in a way. They're in Vienna, but they don't really live in Vienna. They are like here, like more or less tourists. They discovered Vienna with us, more or less. They live in a fake nightlife. So then they have this horrible apartment where they live together and have to pay. And they have no space for them. Yes. And, that, and also, there's no time, in a way. They never speak. We never spoke like we would do normally. Uh, who are your parents? Where are you from? Where want mm. you want to go? What is your future? Yeah. You know, we, time is very important, of course, in our discussions. In our identities. And yeah, they have yeah. a permanent present. It's now. It's not in five minutes, it's now. So, they were timeless. And Which sounds very privileged, in a way. <laughs> That's, yeah. that's what some people are striving for, right? Yeah, Somebody but we like need hope in life. life. Yes. We need yeah. hope in life. Yeah. And, and for hope, we need future and spaces. And so this, I was very moved, these this immigrants from Bulgaria, which is really very close to Austria, they come here and have no, no space for them, and they can't create time here. Mm. But I think there's hope in their lives, and I hope so in the film. There's a kind of friendship, mm -hmm. a warmth, mm -hmm. something, they're together. Mm -hmm. They're really brothers. Most of mm -hmm. them are really brothers or cousins or friends. But 
something, okay, we, we stay together, we, we can fight together. Do you, do, you, do you think that there is a sense of identity for them and how does it express or how does it show? How do they, what do they identify with? Yeah, I think I always have problems with the word identity as, as it, and I don't know, I understood this with them, they, they don't use this word. There are a lot of words we use, they don't use. Uh, we have, it's, it's not you, uh, me too, huh? no, no, we no. try to <laughs> find words who, 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 who say something, who close the system, okay, yes. you are gay, you live here, yeah. you're from Berlin, yeah, uh. and in their world everything is floating and you don't put words on this, mm -hmm. so that makes them, for me, very mysterious. I, I'm from Lebanon and so the, it re reminded me something from an Arabic way to yes. speak about relations, but mm -hmm. To, to be into relations, but this floating thing was um, brutal and beautiful at the same time. Yeah, mm -hmm. did well, I answer? Yeah, no. I mean, I, I, I yeah, I, I think you um, you hit a lot of important points. But I'm, I'm, I was also thinking about bo like identity and bodies and what what are what are the relationships to their bodies? You know, yeah. they. they yeah, it's strange. Sell their feel, bodies, no? yes, yeah, in, in their like, lives. In, yeah. in their lives, like what does it, what does, what role does body, the body play? I think the body. What I liked with them, and uh, what I understood, you know, the body is not. Uh, how does in English high leg? Holy, so, holy, a sacred. Yeah. yeah, you know, the body is a is a cashier. The supermarket is she more free than they are? I don't know. They are playing with life. They are stuck in a complicated situation, in a kind of slaves of our society, mm -hmm. and at the same time, first first time in their life, they are free. Mm -hmm. They can be young, mm -hmm. they can be children, what they are. Their wives and and uh, and uh, children are in Bulgaria, and here they are with the friends and making stupid things, mm -hmm. getting a little money with prostitution. Mm -hmm. It's strange, no, to be so much stuck in the situation and a prisoner of, of a system. And at the same time, I really had the feeling of, okay, there's a way, there's a kind of freedom. Mm -hmm. And so they, won't, they don't want to go back immediately. Yeah, they, yeah, they, and, and so nothing is, that's why there are so much colors a, in the film, because nothing is black or white in their life, you know? Yeah, it's, yeah. And the body, it's the same. They are close together, and at the same time, there's a respect limit and but what I'm, I was it's a strange uh, word, just huh? yeah it's it's an interesting word but you sort of like got into it but you also and I think that's something as filmmakers which is like so challenging and difficult to deal with sometimes because you carry a lot of privilege you know as as someone who is going to make a film about it mm. who's telling a story mm. who has a certain background mm who has a different approach to life, who has knowledge and resources yeah. that these people do not and probably will never have access to. How do you deal Your with all these questions. things? Yeah. Big question. But it's, a big, it's, it's, been, it's been a it's question, a question forever, question. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. but I guess we always have to because like the only confront solution it is new. not to make a film. Really? I don't know. <laughs> <Of> <laughs> that, that, that would be so tough. I mean, that, of but course, maybe that's the radical answer. For example, with a camera or my cultural background, in a way, I'm stronger than they are. I, 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 I make it stronger. I make a film. Yeah, you're more privileged. Yeah, you definitely yeah, have I, more I, access. And to I edit it, so I know how to tell. I, I can choose how I tell. But they have the life. They have the energy, which was stronger than our ideas. Mm -hmm. So what I tried is to be as close to them, to their lives, mm -hmm. and uh, not too much into my ideas mm -hmm. to find. But it's a complicated question. But it's question. a complicated how can thing. You, how because can, because how can, can we be together if we are so different? And how can I do a film and, and not just saying, ah, they are exotic? Yeah, exactly. How can we close? How can we can we can we be close? And maybe it's a little bit kitschy, but maybe it's into I, I I really like them, and I want I knew when I edited the film, I wanted that people love them, mm -hmm. like you can love film figures. Mm -hmm. and, did they but ever, it's a very complicated question. Did they watch it ever? Not yet. We see? finished it last week, so, so will you, next will, week will you in, in Vienna or how do you think they will react? Do you think about that or do you? Of course I think about it. 
Do you have any anything in mind or what? I what do you wish for? What do you hope for? You just said hope is something you know we need, but what do you hope for? That they felt that I respected them until the end. Okay. That I didn't steal something from them. That we did something together. Okay. And I'm not naive. I, you know, when you edit, you edit alone. But I, I hope they feel that I, uh, that it's a homage to them. That is something they can also be proud of them. Great, thank you so much. Thank you. Enjoy your time. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.